So after all that bad kind of happened, you know how I talked about the passing of my grandfather and, you know, my car breaking down. Well, not breaking down, but the engine needed to replace like really bad. As well as my chair breaking and all just kinds of like small little things. Um, finally, some of the goods coming back. You know, my engine's finally been replaced. Um, it took about a week and a half to two weeks. And there was actually another like problem that I was having when I first got my car. But it, of course, didn't happen when, you know, like when I took it back to the shop and I had them like see if they could have the problem happen to themselves and see what the problem was. Um, I'll get more into that in a little bit. But I also got my chair fixed. Like I got the parts from the seller that sold me my that sold me my chair. And I'm very happy for that because I completely forgot how much of a pain it is sitting on like a foldable chair. Like just not a chair... I don't know compared to like dx racer i mean like literally my ass was hurting like really bad whenever i'd sit in that like foldable chair for a long time and then as soon as we got my chair fixed and i sat in the seat oh my god my ass was like whoa <laughs> don't even get me started <laughs> But it felt amazing, and I'm very, very, very glad that the seller, you know, gave me, like, replacement parts because I had a full warranty, and I'm very appreciative. So big thank you to you guys. But yeah, so just basically a whole bunch of, like, bad things happened, and then all the good things started happening. Like, you know, everything was getting back to where it was and, like, how I wanted things. And, yeah, with the engine, basically what happened was, like, I got my engine replaced and everything. But for some reason, my car, like, wasn't wanting to, like, um shift gears and like it wasn't doing that before it was just like i was told it had something to do with the engine and i guess like when you get a new engine sometimes the transmission gets off it's not like, in sync without the or with the previous engine uh something to do with that i don't really know the exact words they use but basically i was thinking that was the problem or i'm pretty sure that was the problem but for some reason when they tried to drive my car it never happened it only happened to me but basically as soon as i got my car i went home and i think i had to go back uptown or no that night i had to go or i was gonna go go up to this town 30 minutes away i believe i've talked about it before pretty much i was leaving my house right and my car was like working completely fine until i got up to 55 and once i got up to 55 that's when the problem started happening basically or no that was when one of the times it happened it already happened a couple other times but this was when i took it back into the shop finally because of this problem or because it happened again but basically i got up to 55 and as soon as i started to slow down okay so i don't use cruise control i know cruise control is probably very handy and it's probably good for lazy people like me but i don't know i feel i get really nervous thinking about using cruise control because of how because of how it um you know it keeps you going the same speed right but i always worry that for some reason like if i like it's gonna get stuck and i'm not gonna be able to like use the brake to like sl or to turn off cruise control and i'm just like gonna crash like going 60 miles an hour into the wall so I, i'm always worrying about that that's why i never use cruise control but so pretty much I always, you know, I have my foot on the gas constant. Like I can sometimes get my foot in the right spot where it keeps me going the same speed that I want to go. But sometimes, you know, normally I'm like slowing down, revving, slowing down, revving just to keep myself going around the same speed. Right. And as soon as I was at 55 miles an hour and I started to go down or like when I was losing speed because I wasn't um, putting enough gas into it or pushing the pedal hard enough, this it didn't want to accelerate. Basically, the car, it wasn't even just the transmission in general. It was just the car wasn't wanting to accelerate. And it was very annoying. It, and basically at that point, like I'd have to hold the gas down for like a few seconds for it to finally kick in. And this happened about four or five times until um, the check engine light came on. I got pissed off. I was like, okay, this is fucking stupid. I thought my car was fixed. So I was like not even a mile away from my house. So I had to turn around and go take it back. And then the next morning I went to go take it to the shop. And it was going perfectly fine until I got up to 55 miles an hour. And once uh, like I started losing speed and trying to like gain speed again, like it wouldn't like accelerate. And it actually like got really bad that time. And I got, st I was going 25 miles an hour on the highway. Like it wouldn't let me go, but I know I was going 20 miles an hour. It, it got stuck at 20. Like I couldn't go past it. Even if I held down my foot on the gas, like for a little bit, it would just sit there and, go, and wouldn't do anything. And it was annoying me. Cause like, I was like, Oh my God, I'm going 25 on a 55. Like this is fucking stupid. And I feel really like weird, um, going this slow. And I, I don't know, like, I felt like someone was going to hit me, even though obviously they have plenty of time to you know, move out of the way or whatever. But basically I drove 25 miles an hour, five miles into town. So it took fucking forever. And they went and took the car and I didn't have my car for another full day. And basically nothing happened for them. Like they didn't get the problem that I was having. Like it was weird. Actually, like a good, I think a mile from where I was trying to get to the car finally kicked in and like everything started working again. But what's stupid about that is how, you know, it, of course it kicks in and stops having the problem as soon as I like go take it to them. So basically they replaced the CO sensor and I believe they gave me completely new transmission fluid and they refilled or no, I already had my oil replaced when they replaced my engine. But um that was kind of a pain but now my car's fixed it's all good to go i have my amazing you know stereo and speakers and everything like that i missed very much um and i actually have to get the ac 
uh, Freon replacing it because when they replaced the engine, basically it leaked out, and so I have to go pay someone again to like fill up my AC coolant, and that's kind of a pain. It's like sixty dollars, but whatever, no biggie. Um, and also, yeah, with my chair, the chair is all set up and good to go, which makes me happy. I'm sitting in it right now, and it makes me feel really fucking good because it feels great sitting in this thing. <laughs> Um, compared to my ass sitting on a foldable chair with pillows under me. Oh, that was terrible. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, I'm going to the funeral today. It's actually in an hour. Well, an hour at the time of this recording. Yeah, just pretty much a lot of good stuff's happened. Oh, and by the way, I ordered, I ordered that phone car mount that I told you guys about. I was wanting to get and put it on my wall, like suction it to the wall. So then, you know, I can use that as like a webcam, right? Or like my face cam because I like the quality of my phone over like the webcam, my, or 720p. So I'm really, I'm really excited for that. I'm very, 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 very excited because I'm going to stick it up. It's going to be on my wall near like all my lanyards and stuff are and it's gonna be facing me right but it's gonna look really nice i think and i'm very excited to see how it looks and thank you guys very much for listening to this commentary and watching the video and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and you guys take care oh!